What's going on? What's going on? Uh, I'm just going to go up the top of my dome. I'm very appreciative of where things are heading in my life, uh, where they're headed. Um, uh, I have recently adapted the philosophy of positive thinking, um, focus, positive energy. <clears throat> All types of, uh, like I said, it's freestyle. I'm just going off the top of my head because something has actually um, came to my attention, kind of bothered me. And just to say it straight up, I like venting. Venting can be good, especially when it's not <clears throat> violent and it's not physical. But let me just say this we are in the social media society. And being as though we're in the social media society, I've noticed a lot of people pulling their own card as to say now I know people who would not even think about the computer as far as Facebook but the computer they would say I was nerdy because I was always on the computer I remember the days of uh, Black Planet people used to look at me like wow you're desperate you're online looking for people no it was more of a networking thing but they still was more on the end of um, you know, get out, meet people at a club. Now, now we're in the club on Facebook. I mean, went, we went from talking bad about Mike, me. I don't like to, you know, speak in the third person. But went from, hey, Mike, why are you online so much? Why are you on the Internet? Oh, you're a geek. Oh, you know a lot about computers because you know how to log on to Black Planet. Now we have a company, Facebook. Uh, I heard it was worth like upwards of $50 billion. Yeah, but I was a geek during Black Planet. But listen, this topic isn't about that. I'm, like I said, I'm venting. I've noticed plenty of family, friends, venting. Past friends, past relationships, foes. Let me just put you up on some game. Now, I know game is to be sold, not told. But let me just put you up on some game. If you are uh, on Facebook, they have a, a tool where you can invite other friends. They use your email list. Um, I have recently done this, and I have uh, gained some friends. But ironically enough, I've lost some friends. I don't know if it was because of the mutual contact or they were supposed to stay my private friends but I'm kind of uh, upset a little bit with this world the insecurities of this world how people down Facebook because you know oh boy uh, they may, may meet a new person on Facebook or uh oh they may, may meet a past person they were friendly with on Facebook. Uh oh, uh -oh. this one may know that one they may see. But it's Facebook. It's a networking tool. It can be used badly. So can anything. I eat with a fork and a knife. I could use that in a good way or a bad way. Some people would say eat could be a good thing or a bad thing. Or what type of thing. Hey, 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 hey. The same way you're saying it's not that deep, it's not that deep. Another thing I notice, some people get in relationships, they're still single, they put married. Come on. You might not have, have to go to an altar, but you have to at least have a marriage license. You have to be married. And in, in that same topic, if you're not married, why be so insecure to make sure you're in every picture with your significant other. I have a significant other at the present time. It's called my business. No, 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 seriously. It's called Michael Kent LLC. That's my significant other to me, Michael Kent. Meaning, I spend hours on end with my business every single day. But guess what? You will not, you would not like it 
if all I spoke about on my page was my business, correct? How about I gloat every post? Hey, nine to fivers, um, I'm still sleeping. I don't wake up till a little bit later on because I have my own business. Now, would you be a hater if you didn't like that? No. Hate and hater is some peer pressure BS that's been made up to keep people the same. I'm not a hater if I think enough already. We heard about the boyfriend. It's not that I'm hating on your relationship. No. But do not get upset. I am like, like really, and I'm not just talking about like past relationships or anyone I would even consider a relationship or getting back in a relationship with. Listen, I don't shove my ideology or my philosophies down people's throat with, hey, listen, did you know the way the economy is going, you're either rich or you're poor. You're the have or you have not. Be Republican. Stop the entitlement. Welfare. College even grants. Or even college as a structure. And I'm not getting into that right now. You need to be where you need to be headed now. Not then. Now. Now I know I sound a little right. It's because I don't come at people I think are basically delusional. I have a lot of opinions dealing with money. That does not mean I don't have a soul. And I don't care about people. I'm just realistic. People with their husbands or boyfriends in a damn picture. That is very insecure. Very. Highly insecure. Especially with the other person that's not even it's not even their page. Is in front of you and you're in the back. Now unless you're in some type of uh submissive position or your submission you want to show the world that come on it's Facebook who cares I don't care another thing I don't come at people or attack people with my thoughts on how no one cares that you're making a cupcake baking a pie shoveling the snow you're waking up late oh my goodness my favorite shows on so listen if I don't do that, don't knock me for posting something you may not like. Or even now for saying something you may not like. It's Facebook. This applies to all other medium, media as well. Facebook is supposed to be a, a social network. You may run into people in the real world, I say meaning offline, and you're not going to be like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, and run? Are you going to be the type of person that will grip up the person that you're with tighter because you're so insecure in the real world? Are you going to try to ban me from coming to a restaurant? Or are you going to stop going to this restaurant? Or can you be mature enough to know it's a social environment? I personally think, and I'm going to say it like this, a lot of you people are looney tune crazy and delusional. You get you overreact with the banning this person and banning that person and using this type of leverage and that leverage and I could hide and oh my goodness, oh God, he's trying to he's trying to make a move on my girl or he's trying to make a or she's trying to make a move on my man. Like it's Facebook. Let me say it one more time. It's a 50 billion dollar company and, and the reason why I got that way is because it's a social network it's not supposed to be taken at uh, as LinkedIn I don't know how much LinkedIn is worth or even how much monster jobs or any of those other sites are worth but um, I don't think it's more than Facebook and you want to know why here, here's some free business advice it's a social network here's another thing don't get upset about people if you put all your business out there and they form an opinion. They may even comment on it. What is it? Is it some type of alter ego you don't want the world to see? 
and I, how dare you say something about it? You put your business out on the street, guess what? It's public and it's Facebook. Here's another piece of news you haven't realized in the past couple of days. I don't even have to be a friend. I don't have to know about your Facebook. They have just... Um, let me, how can I put this? I'm at a loss for words. They have just came up with a, 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 in, like a, a genius plan to take your post and anything anyone likes or praises or talks about and totally take that post and use it for their marketing. To build buzz is what they call it. Branding. Don't know what I'm talking about. Look it up in a damn book or Google it. Basically, they're going to use you putting, I had a chocolate cupcake for dinner. Ha ha. I got to hit the gym tomorrow. They're going to put that as part of the advertisement. And you can't do nothing about it. You notice if you go to my page, those who know me know my page. I don't have any more of my pictures up there. Just a few. Because I don't want them taking a photo I took. I spent my time and energy to take. And they could just take it and shove it in a damn ad to make their site look good. Only site I want looking good, and here comes the plug, internationalhustlers.com. That's it. Besides internationalhustlers.com, I don't care. So again, I go on Facebook because it's a social network. I say things that may offend you. You say things that may offend me. But don't take it so serious and be like, oh, he's crazy. How dare he? And uh-oh, I got to tighten up my account, make it private. I'm going to ban him. Woohoo! Come on. Or the next day I go on your page and your boyfriend's proudly holding your hand, shoved his face up and damn camera in the back. Please don't kill me over Facebook. And ladies, I don't want to really give too much advice, but I'm going to tell you this right now. If you deal with someone who is that insecure that they got to shove their face in the camera or tell you who and who you cannot speak with, on a certain level, now I do agree on, cer on certain levels, but you have to give people their space. They're going to do what they want, and women take secrets to their grave. But if it gets to the point where, as though, you know, you have to mistreat someone who was a friend or not a friend or whatever, and, and especially if you, it was going on while you had your significant other, especially if nothing happened like sex or I didn't make a pass or flirted. If, and I guess depending on the situation, you may need to look at that. You may not want to look at that too good. And I'm not saying, oh, well, he doesn't put his hands on you, abuse you. Yeah, not yet. And he may even be against it. He may even talk totally against it. But that's a sign. Don't, 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 don't even uh, just listen to me. Talk to a, a professional psychiatrist or psychologist, because I'm not. I, did, I know a lot of logic. But if a man is is so firm that he has to wrap his arm around you and put his face up in the camera and it's not even his damn page and he's the dominant one in the picture and you look like a fucking shadow in the background, you may want to check that because he's two seconds off of whooping your ass. That's just my opinion. Now again, I already told you, I'm in a relationship. But I won't shove it down your damn throat because guess what? Really? No one cares. You don't. I have plenty of things I do with business. Um, you're not going to know all of it, and I'm not going to shove it down your face. I honestly think that maybe some of the spam rules should uh, up, uh, apply to personal. Because between Twitter and Facebook, um, I, it's more like spam. I uh, I just enrolled in school and um in a couple of years I would graduate and I could be the head barber or the beautician of a salon and then one day I'm gonna be a beautician and then I'm gonna eat a cupcake and then I'm gonna go down the street. Um not only do I not care, but I may not say nothing against it, so guess what? Don't take it serious when I say things. Don't be so serious. I may send out emails with the tool to get more followers, if you don't like it, don't respond. 
Now, the reason why I made this audio is basically say it. Uh, I, I just get tired and I'm just venting. But a lot of you are out of your mind damn crazy. Because I can remember when I used to be on Mahente.com, Black Planet and all that. I was a nerd. I was a geek. And it was so funny and hilarious that I was on a computer. Now, all of you nerds and geeks or wannabe are on Facebook and Twitter sharing your whole damn life. And when someone comments, reaches out to you, says hi, or mistakenly bumped into you, it's either uh, who the hell are you to tell me this, or mind your business, or why are you on this person's friend list, and all this other crap, or it's some defensive pose in the picture, or someone gets banned. In other words, what I'm trying to say is you're taking. Facebook way too serious. I even know of someone who had a Twitter and they talk shit on the Twitter about someone. But as soon as somebody approaches them, not only do they deny it, they change their whole damn Twitter uh, personality, I would say. A Twitter personality. Imagine that. They change all that around and they look at the other person for for noticing that they was cursing that person delusional now I'm not trying to save the world I know half of you probably won't even listen this far uh, and you're probably like what the hell are you talking about but I just had to vent don't get too carried away with Facebook again it's like any other social environment I may go to CVS right now and I'm not just saying that to pick out a certain store so don't don't get crazy if y'all think I'm stalking you because you go to CVS I may go to CVS because there's one nearby me and if I run into somebody, if they were to start hiding, ducking, diving, pull out their boyfriend, hug all up against them and all that, guess what? You would be looked at in my eyes. Crazy. If I, if I noticed you went to the manager and say, don't allow him in here, or you cloaked your, your, your face with a scarf or something, I would think you were crazy. And guess what? The same thing's on Facebook. Are y'all dumbasses or what? There's literally hundreds... I, I, last stat I have, and I might be wrong, there's three to five hundred million people on damn Facebook. Yeah. You get upset about me seeing the picture. There's 499 million other people that could see the same damn picture. You're delusional, crazy people. And that's how it goes. And it took a long time and a lot of restraint for me to even come out with this. But I'm going to tell you like this. And I'm just going on because I'm venting. You people are nuts. And guess what? I may have a picture, speaking of business, that you may not like. But are you going to judge my whole business because I'm a photographer and I took a picture that someone wanted me to take a certain way? Guess what I do? I treat people accordingly. I don't treat everybody the same way and phony. If you've heard my topic on rest haven the problem with most of you is that you're phony you're fraud you live with people out of convenience and sometimes you dig it you're cool with what i'm saying but then you think about like uh oh i exposed myself so now i'm gonna go back into hiding i heard some of you you've told me your problems you've told me your issues i've i've even read some of your your uh pages no i'm not a stalker i came across an interesting uh comment and i read it it's facebook Facebook gives you the, uh, the, the false sense of security by being able to ban people. But if you heard what I just said, they're going to use the, your same information and put it all over the place. You know what? If I look to the right side of my bar on Facebook, I might not even be your damn friend. And it will say, hey, mutual friend, such and such. I can actually judge you. I have a friend uh, or someone I, I was a friend with, and they drink a lot, they party a lot, and they're into a lot of different things. If I see that you're a mutual friend, should I judge you like a bird of birds of a feather? No. But that's what you delusional creeps do with me. See, it's a mirror, right? Am I wrong? Am I saying something wrong now? Now I, I just had to vent because I've just noticed a lot of weirdo crazy things online and y'all think it's normal and then when somebody talks about it and then they, oh well he's talk, talking this way talking that way and it's and it's and it's a sad it's really really sad because guess what some people don't even ban me and i know they don't like me so they know those are the ones that are the most sane if you ask me because they know they're partially crazy deaf dumb and 
stupid. And then there's people that are your friends. They're your friends. Maybe not your family. Maybe not your immediate friend, but they're your friends. And they still have me as friends, even though you might not. And guess what? That works in the real world, too. There's conniving women all over the damn place, conniving bitches everywhere. They don't even talk to their friend or their family. And guess what? They will talk to me at a drop of a dime. You delusional, weirdo Facebook people need to stop. You're not private. It's not a private network. Do you know how to set up a virtual private network? Do it. Get your own server. Do it. I'm just saying, don't come at me because I'm on Facebook. You may see a video by uh, Beethoven. Then I may put something up by Waka Flocka. Does that make me a gangster? Does that make me classy? Does that make me gay? What does it make me? It makes me like music. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, but it makes me a music lover. Stop judging and forming opinions and getting people... Uh, you, you're giving out intentions. My intentions is just to go on the damn thing and actually, like I said, I do photography and business. I like to keep my uh, finger on the pulse of society. Don't know what it means? Google it. I really could care less. I've been expecting Facebook to ban me for a good year. I could care less. You know, the thing that gets me is women talk about uh, a lot of different things with relationship. They listen to whack ass Steve Harvey. Now his card was pulled. Now you're going to jump on somebody else about dating advice. What, what, what gets me is that you want a friend. You want people you could be cool with. You go on Facebook for a purpose, networking or friends. But then you box yourself in, especially with ignorance. You talk to the same people you could on the phone, but you never will call them. And you want a friend, you get a friend. But if this friend can't add to your bottom line somehow, or if it offends uh, uh, someone else, and, and, then they got to go. And then the thing is, you don't understand, that's called a controlling person you don't want an abusive man but you want someone that's going to control the shit out of you you know what that means when it's things out of your control that you can't prevent and eventually you'll get older and those things will come up he's going to whoop your ass he's going to whoop your ass um i know of men and it could be personally business wise or just on the damn tv okay just things that happen. Who don't believe in hitting a woman. It's always a first time. They have control all their damn life. And they either whoop the woman's ass. Or they kill the woman. Because they stepped out of line. Seasons change. People change. Know this. Take hint. You know why it gets me upset? Because once it starts affecting me. And people start accusing me. And trying to strong arm me. And trying to ruin certain relationships with me even on a just a normal society type of fucking living then it's a problem it is i've been i'm, I'm not even going to get too detailed i've been in certain situations where i might not have been cool with the person i may have just been like hello goodbye that changed to i can't say shit to that person because the boyfriend didn't like me saying hello and goodbye no, I wasn't seeking out to say hello and goodbye. I wasn't breaking my neck. I wasn't going an extra distance. I just happened to know of the person. They were nearby me when I saw them. I spoke. I will speak to someone that I could probably tell they hate my guts because I'm a gentleman. So I speak. If someone has a problem with that, um, as far as I know, we're not in a communist society. Uh, we're not under martial law. I have the freedom of speech. It's not illegal. It's not immoral. If someone has a problem with that, then you better check your people around you. Because that could be a problem. That definitely, maybe you need to look up, could lead to an abusive situation. Now that's all I have to say. Um... 
Besides, you may find some weird stuff on my page, like this may be weird to you. But I, I'm just venting, and I'm saying some things over and over. But this world is done. I can see myself changing my whole circle of anybody that ever sees me. I don't want to seem egotistical, but you'll, you'll know why now. I don't want to seem like uh, my head is up my ass or anything like that, but I'm done. There's a lot of fools on this computer. A lot. I'm done, even in the real world. I don't know what happened. Maybe the media did it to you. I'm done. I don't want to seem snobbish, but um, to me, a poor person is of a poor mind. And you're some peasant. Peasant, peasant. When you look in the mirror, look in your eye, if you have someone basically puppeteering your life, anyone, if you have delusional thoughts and false pride of whom you are and how your life is and your entitlement, even if it's in, you're thinking you're entitled to a career or a job because you went to school, are you kidding me? You're a peasant only because of your poor thoughts. And that's it. If you vote only because of the color of the skin, white, black, or anything, or you vote because everybody else voted for that person, you're lost. If you don't have your own way of thinking, your own mind, you don't seek out to be positive and, and seek out to be a better person and progress, then you're lost. If you can't tell the snakes in the grass and the people who really don't give a shit about you, your loss. You can't tell you're being used and being played like a fucking fiddle, especially if you're broke and don't even know what the I could do bad by myself mindset is. Then you're fucking lost. Yeah, I see you. I've been saw you. You're lost. You're being played like a fiddle. And then, you know, I'm not one to tell you what type of person to pick. You like a thug, you like a thug. You like a gentleman, you like a gentleman. But guess what? This is what I want you to do. Look to your left or your right. Whoever's by your side, did you? are you just basing them? It could even just be looks or physical attractive or whatever or some stupid whack-ass game they're giving you. Say the right words at the right time. And by the way. Uh, that's a sign in another self. It's called a it's called a snake tongue, fork tongue, slick talker, slick willy. Then you have a long way to go to get to my level. Again, I'm just venting. A long way. And I see you. I can't even tell you. I can't even give advice. It has to be none of my business. And that's what the world has come down to. And you wonder why people don't want to help you. You wonder why you're possibly poor as shit. How do you even expect to do any type of business, make any type of money or progress when someone else is picking and choosing your life and they ain't doing no better than you? Or they don't even have the knowledge. Maybe they did better and they fell. That's good enough too. Let me tell you something. If you don't have an open mind, that's all. I'm, that's the only way I'm going to put it. If you don't have an open mind, and you're so close-minded where it has to be, okay, well, I'm only going to stay around five fucking people. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to job. I'm, I'm, a, I'm sorry. Go to school. Get a job. Get a career. Retire. I'm done. Then you're lost. Doesn't work like that. Mm-mm. Doesn't work like that. Not at all. And, and, the, th and the sad part about it is you may even be a good person. But you're being played. Especially some of you women who are very low self-esteem and somebody just pays attention to you. And it may not even just be for sex. And they just pay attention to you because you're so nice. Well, if they're so nice, why were they even available for you? Think about that. Just think about it. Now, and it could be nice too. Maybe it was just the time and, and everything. But I don't think so. Not if they take Facebook seriously.